What up guys, this is John from Mongo Fishing. Today, I want to bring you Pumpkin Bait Company. I am not sponsored by Pumpkin Bait Company. Pumpkin Bait Company is a small business out of, looks like Garden City, Missouri. I know it's Missouri, I'm not sure exactly. I think it says Garden City. Um, but the owner, Jenny, makes amazing custom uh, crankbaits. Um, and I think like other poppers and just, just custom lures, right? Um, I bought a bunch of square bills. Square bills are my favorite crankbaits to throw, and uh, I'm going to go through them, let you guys see, and um, you know, again, and check it out. Baby bass, pretty freaking sweet. I think she nailed the color spot on. Um, you know, I, th I think that's a, a good one. These are going to progressively get more and more intense, I think, as we go. Uh, she calls this one muddy waters. Uh, it's very detailed. I like this. I, I have a similar um, plastic worm that I throw, similar cutter, color pattern that I throw. So uh, uh, I wanted this. She calls it Muddy Waters, um, black and chartreuse. Um, this one is bluegill. Guys, for real, look at that. That is in just sick. That is an amazing paint job. Um, yeah, that's that's awesome. Bluegill. Spotted Bay Bass. Now this Spotted Bay Bass, I bought this to go throw in smallmouth waters and maybe some brown trout waters to see if I can pull, uh, or some trout water, see if I can pull maybe uh, a big brown or maybe even possibly some big rainbows that are down there eating uh, baby brown trout. So uh, this is a custom lure. Um, paint job that I've never seen from any other company. Uh, this one's called Washington Sunset. I bought it because, well, it's pretty and it doesn't look like any crankbait that I've ever seen in my life. This is more one of those, uh, I'm going to throw it because of its uniqueness. Um, again, I've never seen any crankbait this color. Uh, I think this will pull some bass. Um, I wanted a crawdad pattern, and I also wanted black and blue because I like throwing black and blue lures occasionally. So it's a craw pattern. It's black and blue. Um, the hooks are just guys. Eat, all these hooks are very very sticky. Be careful with them. They are sharp like you wouldn't believe. I don't know who she uses for hook company, uh, but they're good. Um, so this black and blue craw. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a black and blue craw. These last two that I have um, are also high up on my favorites. So I asked for a long ear sunfish. Uh, I caught a, a pretty large long ear sunfish, this long ear sunfish that I'm gonna put a photo of like right now. Um, caught this long ear sunfish on a whopper plopper. It was the largest long ear I've ever seen. Um, and so I sent her a photo. I pulled several long ears out of that area. I sent her a photo and said, can you make me a long ear sunfish? And she sent this. Now, this artwork, one, the colors are spot on. I mean, they're identical to the long ear. So I've already taken this out and thrown it several times and I've caught several bass with it already. I love this crankbait. The last one was another custom job. I, I contacted her and said, hey, can you make me a green sunfish? There's a lake that I've been just tearing up a bunch of green sunfish lately and um, when while bass fishing. And so I asked for green sunfish, uh, sent her a photo that I found off of Google. She sent me a photo back a few days later and said, like this, and, um, and I said, yes, can you highlight the tips a little more? I want a little more white and orange on the tips since green f sunfish really pop that way. I mean, they have that, those colors, are just they just pop. And this is what I got, guys. This thing <laughs> is stuck to my fingers. This is Mongo's green sunfish. Um, gorgeous lure. Uh, she named it uh, after my suggestion 
thank you very much Jenny if you see this uh, but that's it mongoose green sunfish I really really look forward to throwing this I have not used it yet um, I'm hoping to get out and use it today but it's overcast and it's getting kind of breezy so I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, I'm certainly gonna load the boat up and drive out to the lake but we will find out what the weather looks like once we get there um, so maybe when you watch this video there will be some fishing included maybe there won't be I guess it's gonna really depend on what I was able to do today and what I wasn't once I got out there but regardless check out pumpkin bait company they are on Etsy as well as Facebook um, if you send uh, pumpkin bait company a message on Facebook and Facebook only not their Etsy page but you send them a, a private message on Facebook uh, mention that you, that you saw them learn from them learned about them whatever um, from Mongo fishing Jenny has agreed to give you a 10% uh, discount off your first order um, so sub subsequent orders uh, will not get that same discount and I'm sure you will probably have subsequent orders because she, she does amazing stuff uh, again check them out guys super awesome crankbaits again all minor square bill she makes more than that though she does top water she does uh, you know wake bait she does all sorts of stuff um, I'm just a square bill fan though so the Etsy page and the Facebook will be down in the description of this video um, go check them out uh, as always don't forget to hit that thumbs up uh, hit my subscribe button it looks like a fish it's either down there or it's down there uh, but it looks like a fish um, and check out some of the videos that are posted up here in the corners I think maybe about like that maybe uh, check out some of those, some of my other videos, and uh, be safe, go stick some lips.